friends, uh, this is Manish Kumar. Today I'm going to show you that how can you add a Linux print server hosted on your local network to a Windows 7 machine. Um, this is my first video and I will try to make sure that I explain all the details properly. Um, I would like to mention that uh, before you proceed with this tutorial, you must have already configured your Linux print server to work with Windows machines. That is, uh, you must have configured your Samba shares and other setups. So here we go. To add a new printer or a new device, we will go to device and printer. Now uh, you can see some devices listed here and some printers and faxes. To add a new printer, we need to click on add a printer and it should pop up a new window. So here you can see you have the option of adding a local printer or you can also add a network wireless or Bluetooth printer. So click on this. Now as you can see um, our Windows machine is searching for the available printers on our network and it should list uh, our uh, network printer. It might take a little time, so please be patient. Here, you can see that our printer is listed here. So, we will click on next. Now, the message you will get is uh, Windows cannot find a driver on the network. To locate one manually, click OK. Otherwise, click cancel and consult the network administrator or the printer manufacturer's website. Actually, we need to install the drivers for this printer, and uh, uh, we may have to manually install this drivers. Let's see if I have the drivers available in my system or not. I have a HP printer, and the model name is HP LaserJet P1007. So I need to search for that and I found it so I will click OK and you have successfully added HP LaserJet P1007 on M Ubuntu. We can click next. Here you can either print a test page or just finish the setup. And after the su setup successfully ends, you can see that this printer is available in the list of printers and faxes. So that's how you successfully add a network printer on your Windows machine. And I would like to mention one more thing that uh, sometimes you might face issues and you may not find your network printer in the list. So I suggest to try running services.msc in the run box and then search for print pooler you need to restart the service and it will resolve the issues so thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye